Welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload. Now for today's video I have a super exciting one. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail we are going to be testing a couple of products from the new Revolution and Corpse Bride collab. So when Revolution announced their upcoming collabs for Halloween I kind of had a little inkling that they were going to do another Tim Burton collab because they were like promoting the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff and I knew obviously Corpse Bride would be around Halloween and I just, I had a little inkling you know, I, I don't know why, I'm just so good aren't I, um, but I, yeah I just thought that they may be collaborating with Tim Burton again and I am so excited for this collection, I absolutely love Corpse Bride, I literally watched it like last week, um, I'm obsessed with that film so I'm buzzed to be uh, reviewing some of the collection. Today we are going to be reviewing the, what is this palette actually called? This is the Upstairs Downstairs eyeshadow palette, this is the most expensive palette in the collection, this retails for £20 and then we're also going to be using one of the lipsticks today in Victoria because I felt like this one would suit the bigger palette a little bit more and then tomorrow's video I do have one of the £10 palettes, this is the blue one and then I've got the Victor lipstick which is the more nude one so yeah. Today's video is also very very exciting because it's in collaboration with my very very good friend Luce. You all know about her by now, she actually works for Revolution which is amazing, I couldn't be more proud of her. We literally talk every single day, she is just as lovely talking to every single day then she comes across in her videos. I hope one day, fingers crossed, we can actually meet up in real life because that would be amazing. But what that means is that once you've finished watching this video, click the link in my description and go over and watch her video because I'm excited to see what look she's going to create. Okay, let's get this open. So as I said, this retails for £20. So, you know, it's quite an expensive palette. And this is what the packaging looks like. So you have this image at the top and then this image at the bottom. And this is really cool because it actually opens up like this. And then this is the colour story. Oh my goodness. I love the packaging, they put so much detail into it. So the little name sheet that's on it says, With this hand I will lift your sorrows, your cup will never be empty, for I will be your wine. With this candle I will light your way in darkness, with this ring I ask you to be mine, which is the vows from the film. And then on the top it's got a bit of passage here that says, I spent so long in the darkness I'd almost forgotten how beautiful the moonlight is. And then on the bottom here, it says, why would you want to go up there when people are dying to get down here? So this is what the palette looks like. I think I'll show you sideways so you can see that. There you go. Um, it is definitely quite a colourful palette. I think with the whole Corpse Bride thing, the theme is very like blue tones and like blacks and greys and kind of like smokiness. So I think I was expecting a little bit more smokiness rather than super colourful, but they do have that blue palette that I'm reviewing tomorrow, so I think that fits in a little bit more with the theme. However, this is still a very beautiful palette, and I love that there's little butterfly plans in here. I love butterflies. I literally just got butterflies tattooed on my arm, so yeah, I'm obsessed with butterflies. This palette is very, very pretty. There's a lot you can do with this. There's actually a lot of mattes in here. There's 13 mattes in here and nine shimmers. So they've done a really nice shimmer to matte ratio in this palette. So if you'd like to see what I think of this palette and the look that I create, then please keep watching. And firstly, we will get in to the swatches. Okay, so these are the first half of the palette. The shimmers in here are actually very pretty. They all swatched really nicely. The mattes... Some of them were a bit hardly pressed and dry like this one here and also the purple but I did build them up to get them to like this sort of pigmentation. This palette is very much like pink purple blue themed which I'm not mad at but we do have that little blue palette so I'm, I was thinking maybe they could 
have mixed this up a bit. I don't know, what do you think? So let me just swatch the bottom half of the palette. And this is the bottom half of the palette. Definitely a little bit more variation. I love um, that there's quite, I'd say that's like a dark grey. It's not a complete black. Like it's not very pigmented black if it is. So it's a, yeah, I'd say it's more of a dark grey. I've got a deep purple. We've got a couple more purples. Um, another blue, an orange, a pink, some more shimmers. So I love the bottom half of this palette. I think today I'm going to stick to the pinks and purples and stay clear of the blues because that's going to be tomorrow's video. Okay, so I've just primed my eyelids with the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. So the shadows are something to stick to and stand out. And as I said, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to play with the pinks and the purples today because I want to leave the blues for tomorrow. I'm firstly going to take the wedding which is this pink shade here and I'm going to put that at the very front half of my lid so I'm going to do a like two-tone look today with a cut crease. Very pigmented, had absolutely no issues with that whatsoever. Uh, I've got maybe like one or two specks of fallout um, but as for the actual shade it's very beautiful and very pigmented. I'm going to take downstairs which is this cool toned dark purple and I'm just going to place that next to the pink and blend that to my outer corner. Okay, so I've built the shade up a couple of times, but look how pigmented that purple is. And it blends really nicely into this pink. It's a really soft gradient. I absolutely love that. Okay, next to blend out the purple, I'm going to take the rings, which is this one here. I don't know why I'm starting off with this shade. I should have started off with the pink. And I'm just going to lightly start buffing out this purple. Then I'm going to take the shade Eldon Gut Necked. Necked. Goodness me. Not the best person to pronounce names. Uh, this pink here. Just going to take a little bit of that and start buffing out the very front of my lid. And then I'm just going to take a clean fluffy blending brush. This is a Doll Beauty DB13 and I'm just going to use that to just buff out the edges near the end because they're just looking a little bit harsh. Perfection! These are blending together so beautifully oh my goodness so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to perfect the blending i'm also going to do my half cut crease and then i'll be right back okay so i've just gone off camera perfected the blending and also added my cut crease so let's now play with one of the shimmers so i was having a look and i think i'm going to go in with pasta goals wells which is this gold shimmer right here Let's see what the formula is like of this shade. I had a tiny bit of fallout on my nose and that is it. I had no other fallout. So I'm very impressed with that. Um, the gold is absolutely stunning. I think it applied really nice and pigmented. I didn't have any issues with like patchiness. I just took my time and really built it up and now I have this gorgeous gold shimmer on my lid. So now I need a purple shimmer to kind of like blend out the outer edges. So I think I'm going to take this one down here which is called True Love. Okay, so the eyelids are now done and now I need to pick a shade for the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called Bokeh. It's kind of like a pinky, reddy purple. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take the black in the palette, which is called Freedom. And I'm just going to add tiny tiny bit to this very outer corner 
Okay, and then for my inner corners and brow bone, I'm going to take the pale pink shimmer in here, which is called Betrayal. Okay, so this is my completed look. I'm so happy with it. I wouldn't say this look is super corpse bride vibes just because I have gone for the pinks and purples, but as I said, saving the blues for tomorrow, I still honestly think this look is absolutely stunning and the pigmentation and formula has been incredible. So I'm gonna now hop off camera. I'm just gonna put my lashes and mascara on. Then I'll be right back because we're gonna be testing out one of the three lipsticks. Okay, so this is my completed eye look. For my lashes, I used my uh, Tarty Lashes in TL6. And for my lashes, I used my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. So to finish off the look, obviously we need to put some lipstick on. There were three lipsticks in this collection, uh, Victoria, Victor and Emily, who are the main characters in Corpse Bride. We have Victoria, which I'm gonna be putting on today, which is a more red tone lipstick. Victor, which is the lipstick I'll be using tomorrow, is nude. And then Emily, which is the one I don't have, is a more pinky lipstick. So I am going to be using Victoria today. This is the packaging of them. I think it looks so cool. I'm definitely gonna have to pick up Emily at some point. These cost five pounds. I think they're super affordable. And I was talking to Luce actually, and she said the formula of these apparently is unreal. So I cannot wait to try it. So this is the packaging of the lipstick and it just has the shade name and then this little pattern here. It is in like a square black packaging. It feels a bit more better quality than their like other lipsticks, just like the sturdiness of it. And then inside is a blue sort of like rim where the lipstick is and then this is the shade Victoria. So as I said, it's a red, but it's not a super in your face red. It's more of like a, a dark grungy red. I don't know. It's just not super bright, which I like. And there is a cute little skull imprint on there. Let's, let's give this a go. So this is the shade Victoria. I think it's absolutely beautiful, a really nice red. This would be perfect for like Christmas time as well. Um, the formula, because my lips are super dry and I did have concealer and stuff on them because I have a lot of acne around my lips at the minute, I have covered them quite a lot in product. So the lipstick wasn't as creamy, but I think that's my own fault. However, it feels super comfortable on my lips and it's not a super drying matte lipstick. It kinda is like a demi matte lipstick because it has a little bit of shine to it, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. If I was to reach for a bullet lipstick, this is kind of the formula that I would reach for. So Lucy, you were right. The lipstick formula, I think, is really, really nice. The colour's pretty. I think it does tie in with the eye look. So good thing I picked that lipstick. Um, and yeah, I think for £5, that's a bargain. And the shade is gorgeous. So I definitely recommend that. Okay, so this is my completed look now. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on the makeup I tested out today and your thoughts on the collection in general. So let's just quickly sit down and talk about these. So the palette itself, for £20, I honestly think that this is slightly overpriced. I feel like they've done it for £20 because of the amount of shades that you get and also um, the different kind of style of packaging, which is fair enough. By the way, the packaging of all of this is unreal. Like, I love all the images on here and everything. Like, I love that. Um, I just think this may be better priced at about maybe 16 to 18 pounds. I just feel 20 is a little bit a little bit overpriced, but that is just my personal opinion. Um, apart from that, I think the packaging is amazing. The colour story of this, I definitely feel like they could have done it a little bit more smoky and grungy for Corpse Bride, just because if you've ever seen it, the whole film is like at night time pretty much. So it's all like dark and smoky and there's a lot of blues and greens. So I would have loved to see a palette with like that sort of vibe rather than like the bright and colorful palette. 
but saying that the colors in here are absolutely beautiful and I love the look that I created today I had no problems with any of the formulas in this palette I think even the shimmers worked really well the mattes were really pigmented so yeah I think it's a great product I think maybe they could have just done things a little bit differently but I still love the palette I think it's absolutely beautiful I just feel like a lot of people are gonna say it's not very corpse bridey you know do you know what I mean? And then lastly for the lipstick, I definitely just touched base on this, so I don't even need to talk about it, but the colour's gorgeous, the formula's great, five pounds, it's a bargain. So that is me testing the Upstairs Downstairs palette and Victoria lipstick. Don't forget to go and check out Lucy's video down below in my description box. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.